the day before the exam. Sir, I'm like, what? What do you want? Sir, what time are you coming in tomorrow? I've got my usual time. What time is that, sir? Well, I get into school around 8.30, yeah, just before staff briefing. Sir, can you come in at 7 o'clock? I'm like, why? Sir, please, you can do a revision class with us before the, you know, before our exam. It's in the morning, sir, our maths exam. I'm like, hold on a minute, let me get this right. You want me to wake up two hours earlier than I normally would wake up. So I can come into school earlier because no one wants to go to work. It's work. School is work. No one wants to go to work early. You're not being paid for it so that you can attend a revision class. Where have you been when I used to do those after school classes for revision classes? You were never turning up. You used to make excuses. And sometimes after the uh, after school class used to finish, I used to see you coming at the P block because you've been doing after school football or something with your mates. So you did have the time. You didn't have to go anywhere else. Oh, my mom wants me back at home. None of that. You just chose not to turn up. And now you want your teachers to turn up for you. Honestly, this used to happen all the time. And guess what those teachers would say to those kids? No, I'm not going to turn up two hours earlier than I normally would so that you can have a revision before your exam. Where have you been all year? So I'm saying this to you early, guys. It's October now, right? You can change your mindset and the way you think about your work, the your way you think about you. You can do it now and start developing good habits. Because trust me, if you continue this and no one changes this for you, you too will be that student who is knocking on your teacher's door the day before the exam, begging them and looking like a beg. Because that's what you are. You say this to each other, you're such a beg. That's exactly what you're going to be like. I'm sorry if it sounds harsh, but you need to hear this. All right, you need to all hear this and share this with your friends. Try to influence them in the same way, saying, don't be a beg. Do these things now. Otherwise, trust me, you don't know. That, that teacher who's helping us, who's telling us, he's seen it all before. He's seen it for many years. We are nothing new. We are not anything different. We are still that same 15-year-old student who thinks like a 15-year-old student, who does the things that a 15-year-old student does. And we see it every year, guys. So take our advice from it now. Take the advice of the people who have been there, done it, seen it, got the t-shirt. All right, guys. So with that, I'll leave you guys and I shall see you next week now. And I look forward to giving you guys your feedback from the homework and um, of course, sharing with you your individualized report. Okay. Take care. Bye for now. Assalamualaikum.